we're going to be starting a new video series called Lunch and Learn. I'm going to be bringing this to you every Friday, Lord willing, and we are going to be exploring topics uh, from the Word of God and really engaging in scripture. So let us just start by praying. Lord, we want to thank you for this day. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for everyone who has joined us uh, for this video, Lord. We ask that you open our ears and our hearts to receive your word. And we pray that your word would accomplish everything that you have sent it out to do in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we're going to be talking about an anointing for every season. So as many of you guys may have noticed, at least where I live, in North America, Canada more specifically, the seasons are changing. It is starting to get a bit colder outside, the leaves are definitely changing colors, and we are no longer in summer. What do we do to prepare as the seasons change? We change out our wardrobe, maybe add an extra blanket on the bed, whatever we have to do to make ourselves comfortable and cozy as it gets colder and colder. Very much likewise, uh, what do we do? I ask myself, what do we do to prepare for a new spiritual season. Do we do anything to prepare for that season? Do we even notice the seasons changing? Now in the word of God, we see people could easily look outside and notice the seasons changing. They could notice the, tree, the trees changing color or the sky being a certain color and they could tell what the weather would be like. And much the same way, we should be able to discern in our spiritual life when a season is changing. It is so imperative. I can't stress it enough because as the seasons change, the anointing needs to change. Just like you will not wear your summer clothes outside in winter is very much the way we can't expect that one anointing will work in a new season. So therefore, an anointing for every season. Asking the Lord, first of all, about this new season. Lord, what is this new season that you're bringing me into? What does it mean for my spiritual life? Always ask the Lord um, to open your understanding so that you will know his will. And asking him, Lord, in this new season, what do I need? What do I need to learn? What are you going to be taking me through? Now, we know that the Lord does not always reveal everything to us off the bat, but one thing I know for certain is the Lord will never bring us into a season without equipping us for that season. The Lord will never set you up for failure. He always sets us up for success. So seeking the Lord for this new season is the most important thing that you can do. Seeking the Lord and getting that new anointing and everything that you need in your toolkit to make it successfully through this season of your life. Now, the Lord may be bringing you into a new season for various reasons. It could be because uh, he wants to increase your faith. It could be to grow you spiritually, take you from milk to meat. It could be for business, for ministry. It could be for so many reasons. And therefore, we need that new anointing. We need that fresh anointing. Most of us, I hope all of us, when we wake up in the morning, what do we do? We go to the washroom, we clean ourselves up, brush our teeth, wash our face, we freshen up for our day. But why do we not do that spiritually? You need that fresh anointing daily. Okay. So really taking just a few minutes to ask the Lord for that fresh anointing, that he would open your eyes, use you in this day. Lord, show me whatever you need me to see and let your anointing be on me today. Let me be used by you. Let me be effective uh, for you today. If you left the house straight out of your bed without washing up and especially brushing your teeth, I don't think you're going to be a very pleasant person to sit next to in a board meeting. So very much the same way, we sometimes wonder why our days don't go smoothly, why we're not uh, very pleasant to others, to the Lord, or even to ourselves. And it's because we didn't take that time in the morning to freshen up and to prepare for our day. Those of you who live next to ponds or little bodies of water, when the water is stagnant, it stinks. And we don't want that in our spiritual life. We do not want our spiritual life to stink. So we need to always be moving. When that water is moving, it won't smell. It's when that water stays still and does not go anywhere and does not do anything that it becomes putrid and stinks. So we need to ask the Lord for that fresh anointing and to keep us moving. The Bible says we go from glory to glory. We need to continue to move and we need to avoid spiritual stagnation at all costs. 
Now, when you think of what you would experience with the Lord, if you had that daily anointing, if you had that seasonal anointing, if you walked so closely with him that when the seasons changed, you noticed it right away and you can already start to prepare and ask the Lord to prepare you for that new season. Don't ever let a season catch you off guard. The Bible tells us to be instant in season and out of season. What does that mean? It means to be ready at all times. Anything can change in our spiritual life and we always need to be ready. Amen. So I have a few scriptures um, that are just talking about the anointing that people received in different situations in their life and some of them in their spiritual walk with God. That specific anointing that you need to carry out that role successfully. There are so many benefits to having the right anointing for the right season and the right reason. Amen. I pray that this video has really been a blessing to you. If it has, I would really be grateful if you would subscribe, like the video, share the video. It's all free. And remember, no matter what season you find yourself in, you are too blessed to be stressed. Take care and God bless.